So, Mother's Day is right around the corner, peaking on us, right? Hey guys, it's your girl Lati and I want to welcome you to another video. If it's your first time tuning in, welcome to my channel and remember to subscribe both new and old viewers. I know some of you guys watch the videos but you haven't subscribed as yet so please guys remember to subscribe. A while back I did a gift idea video for Valentine's Day and based on the analytics you guys really enjoyed that video. So here I am again with another gift idea video and this one is for Mother's Day. So, Mother's Day is right around the corner, peaking on us, right? And for those of you still wondering when is Mother's Day, or for those of you who don't remember any at all, Mother's Day is May 9th, 2021, all right? So, remember that, guys. The 9th of May is the day to celebrate your mother or the mothers in your life. And so I'll be giving you some gift ideas or helping you to figure out the way to find the right gifts for your mother or the mothers in your life. First of all, why do we celebrate Mother's Day? We use Mother's Day as a day to show and express our gratitude and appreciation towards a mother's love influence and contribution in our lives and the men will also celebrate and show their appreciation to the women that help to nurture and raise their children so how do you select the right or perfect gift for her tip number one choose something she loves what better way to show your appreciation for your mother than giving her something that she loves? For example, if she is a lover of flowers, you could get her a new plant to add to her collection, or you could get her new flower pots. I've been seeing some real stylish and fancy flower pots since lately. So you guys could probably consider that. If you love having scents in her home, you could get her some scented candles. I know that Bronsky Candle is currently offering 20% off for all candles for Mother's Day. So you could check them out. I will leave a link to their Instagram page in the description. Number two, choose something she's passionate about. If your mom is a type of mom that loves to be in the kitchen and is passionate about cooking, you could get her something that she doesn't already have in her kitchen that will make life easier for her. So for example, you could consider getting her an air fryer, a food processor, or maybe a new a blender. <laughs> Upgrade her blender because I'm pretty sure she already has a blender in her kitchen right or whatever you think that would be an upgrade for her in her kitchen other examples if she's passionate about reading you could get her a kindle if she's passionate about writing you could get her a journal and you could try to get a journal that can be customized so you could put something special in it so she remember or always remember that this is from you my third tip is to listen when she speaks. Women tend to always say things indirectly. So based on conversations that you have had, she'll probably say something to you that she needs, but she's not going to say, she's not going to tell you to get it for her, right? So through conversations, you'll probably hear her say, you know I need this, you know I want this. So try to remember those little things or those little conversations when she she has expressed that she needed something and you could get her that thing that she wanted or needed. And I'm pretty sure your mom will be over the moon. Tip number four, give her something personalized. 
that will be sentimental. For example, you could create a slideshow showcasing memories over the years that you get, you have captured together. And this will either make her laugh or cry, or maybe both. You could also do personalized jewelry, which could be a pendant, a bracelet with maybe the children's name. You could do a charm, or you could even do a photo in a locket. Funny, you could also do personalized jewelry. So you could get a pendant, a bracelet, and you could get the children or to you could get the children's name engraved on that jewelry and you could give it to her. You could get a charm that that would be significant to Mother's Day. You could also get a locket and put a photo inside of it and I'm pretty sure that your mom would really really appreciate any one of those gifts. Another sentimental gift could be a journal where you list all the things that you love about your mom or even thanking her for all that she has done for you. Tip number five, something that's relaxing. Being a mom is a really, really of task and a day of relaxation would definitely be top choice. Everybody needs time to unwind and to relax. So you could book a day at the spa or you could do a getaway where you could take her to a resort, a villa or even an Airbnb. It can be as simple as taking her to the beach or the river, whichever she prefers. Any of these options, you can also offer breakfast in bed, dinner or brunch, take on the task of cleaning for that day, cook a special meal for her, something that you know that she loves, and also let the children get crafty and create something really, really special for mom. I do hope that you will find these tips useful. And please let me know in the comments if my ideas will help you in your selection process this year for your Mother's Day gift. Also, remember to make the day fun and enjoyable for your mom. To all the mothers out there, I want to wish you an early, happy Mother's Day. We are a tower of strength. We do a lot. And I believe that we all deserve to be recognized and celebrated for the hard work that we do. Remember to like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe. Blessings and love to you all and I will see you in the next video.